Hello Chocks and Chocket, it's Lemon Between, Chocolate Birds here for a special review, another one, but this time it's one with banana in it, so I'm very excited. <laughs> it's a new Cadbury Dairy Milk Inventor Bar range, um, limited edition Banoffee Nut Crumble. Yes, yeah, so milk chocolate with Banoffee Pie inspired fudge pieces, golden almond caramel pieces and crunchy biscuits. Yes, invented by Josh Clark, there we go, yeah, hmm. Yes, yeah, so well done Josh, putting banoffee in there, or banana at least. I mean, basically, banoffee, well, I'd rather it was just banana really, because I'm just, I've always wanted banana chocolate, and never since one of the old Cadbury Marvelous Creations ones, I think. Mean, banana and some banana nut crunch, I think it was called, I'm not sure, but, uh, you know, banana biscuit crunch, and I can't remember, quite remember what it's called now, but anyway, yeah, that was about, and I missed that one, I really liked, I think I had maybe pretzel actually, banana pretzel crunch, or something like that, I'll probably put a picture of it or whatever, and um, yeah. So very much excited for this one. It's a bit of a shame that it's um, got toffee in it. I mean, well, it's got fudge, I guess. There's a description on Cabbage's website, actually, that isn't on the bar. So I'll read that to you now. It says, uh, Banoffee Nut Crumble. Indulge your taste buds in this banoffee sensation. Banana-flavoured fudge, crunchy golden almond caramel pieces, and a bite of biscuity goodness, it says. After much taste testing with his number one sous chef, his son, <laughs> Inventor Josh created a bar inspired by his two favourite desserts. Right, OK. So, yeah. All right, uh, Banoffee Pie. Um... Yeah, okay, what's the other one then? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. Um, right, I don't, well, I don't know what the other one is. Um, obviously, one's Banoffee. I don't know what the other dessert is. I mean, the description's a bit poor, actually. Um, yeah, I think on, on Cabbage's website, to be honest with you. I, I don't know, I've not been too impressed. Well, I mean, this one, this one especially, so. I mean, what's the other, what's the other dessert? I mean, I can guess it's Apple Crumble, maybe. I don't know. Um... Don't know. No idea. I've no idea. But nothing pie for sure. I don't know what the other one is. <laughs> See? Okay. But Josh Clark, anyways, there we go. So what's the actual description on the bar itself? It says a milk chocolate with banoffee pie inspired fudge pieces, golden almond camel pieces, and crunchy biscuits. There we go, yeah. Banoffee pie inspired fudge pieces. Uh, yeah, all right. I'm not convinced by that. I think it's more. Spurious link is what I would say. A spurious link, but there we go. We'll go with it. There probably wasn't much else to pick on the uh, on the uh, inventor bar selector, you know, because basically what they did was they picked. I think you, you have to pick at least. Uh, we well, have to pick three ingredients basically. I don't think you can you can't pick any less or more. You just have to pick three ingredients. Um, so obviously in this one, uh, Josh has picked um, fudge pieces, golden almond camel pieces, and crunchy biscuit. But it's banoffee pie inspired fudge piece. So I guess. Presumably they've got banana flavouring to them. I mean, I'm assuming they have, unless that's just made up and it's got no banoffee flavour. Yeah, all right. Well, it says milk chocolate with banana flavoured caramel pieces, 7%. So yes, and it must have. Uh, crunchy almond caramel pieces, 4%. And biscuit pieces, 2%. That's on the top of the uh, ingredients line here. Yes, yeah, so it's probably got palm fat in it. Yeah, palm fat. There we go. And it says at the bottom, milk chocolate, milk solids, 20% minimum, actual 23%. No idea why there's a minimum and actual specified. It just say what it is. Cocoa size, 20% minimum. Contains vegetable fats in addition to cocoa butter. Um, calories, 524 calories per 100 grams this is. 20 grams of fat, 16 of which are saturates. So that's pretty much uh, spot on in the middle of between the 500 and 550 range that most chocolate has that I've seen in my reviews. Per six chunks, which is a quarter of the bar, 27.5 grams. 144 calories, 7.8 grams of fat, 4.5 of which are saturates. So it's 110 gram bar there. Yes, there we go. It's got the uh, the Queen Approves symbol. Um, there, so it says, uh, By appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, Cocoa and Chocolate to Manufacturers, Cadbury UK Limited, Bourneville. Got for super vegetarians. Got a recycle symbol saying that uh, Cadbury supports recycling. Doesn't necessarily mean this. Wrappers, recyclable, or anything like that. In fact, it does tell you to put it in the bin there as well. And this makes a bit more sense now we know that uh, Josh is a chef. He's got the C there. It could either be Chef or Clark, or maybe it's his son's name because of C. Um, so they've all had little sort of symbols on them hidden away under the, not quite hidden away, but obscured. Well, hidden away actually, yeah. So one of them had a paw print, so I presume I think that was Roxy. Um, the brownie one, which obviously has a dog, I guess. Um, the other one had uh, Love Hearts, I think. I think Roxy's was Love Hearts, actually. Um, yeah, which was the brownie one. Yeah, so the Sophie had the brownie one, actually, sorry. And that had the paw print, so she must uh, have a dog, I guess, or like dogs. Um, yeah, Roxy's had Love Hearts, so she must like love. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, yeah, and obviously Josh is a chef. 
and so is his son. So there we go. C for chef, C for clerk, C for his son's name. Not sure. Yes, there we are. Interesting. And of course, you can pick the winner as well if you want to win. He said it's going to be the winner. Well, in the past, they've said it will stay as a, as a mainstream bar. It doesn't seem to really have happened, that one. I think they've stayed around for a bit. And one of them did seem to stay for a while. I think the latte one win last time. I'm not sure. Um, but they generally don't seem to last. So I don't know. They might not have even said they'll keep it as a proper bar this time. Only one bar. Well, it says remain. So maybe it remains for a bit anyway. T's and C's apply. I've also tried no frowny brownie, fizzing cherry. Yes. Uh -huh. So this is the third one of the three of my reviews, so I'll see if this one was uh, I think the best. Basically so far, the cherry one was the best ones out of the two I've had so far. Um, but it had its... It, it wasn't perfect basically. So in the top right corner, at some point over here actually, I'll put a link... Um, oh, it'll be there, you can click on it and see it, but uh, it won't have, it might have appeared yet, or if it has, you know, I don't know. It'll appear at some point anyway, if not now, another time. Um, if you click on that, you can check out all the, all the Inventor Bar reviews actually. The, 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 the other two and the uh, six from previous years as well so yeah all right well we should get into it so it's got the uh if you put it against the light you can see the cabri sort of australian inspired writing on the, just sort of hidden away there so it says milk and established 1905 in places and stuff like that um yeah more prominence on the back as well so there's nice touches there we go upside down there all right, let's give it open then before we uh, taste it. So let's do that. Let's give it open. Mm -hmm. See what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's give this uh, Cabri Dairy Milk Banoffee Nut Crumble uh, Inventor Bar Special Edition and open. Invented by Josh Clark. <laughs> we'll just give it a bit of a measure first. It's 18 and a half centimetres uh, the width of these with the flourishes. So you do lose a bit when you open it. Yeah, about 18 and a half. Give it take a millimetre. Let's give it an open. Yes, yeah, so I've done about, uh, I, think it's, I think it's 700, it's, I don't think it's 800 now, it's 790 reviews more or less at time recording. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In the top right hand corner, I'll put a link to play some more mail reviews. So uh, if you watch this one, if you want to see more, uh, click on that and check those out as well. <laughs> if you like those two. Right, so like all of them, they've got this, uh, they've all had these very full bottoms, I think you'd say. Um, that's one for a better phrase, but there we go. You see the fudge pieces there, these cubes. So what's the rest of the ingredients actually? Uh, all three of them had crunchy biscuits in, to be honest with you, and uh, that's what the rest of it is. And all the biscuit pieces have tasted like Rice Krispie pieces rather than biscuit pieces. So it's been a bit disappointing. Um, it doesn't smell in any way, shape or form banana-y. Um, maybe slightly fudgy, but not really. The other ones have tasted a bit biscuity, uh, smelt a bit biscuity, but this one, I'm not even saying it smells like that really. Um, hmm. Yeah, all right. So I think they're about seven and a half centimeters wide. So we'll just give it a give it a go. Yeah, seven point four two in this case. Um, but as I say, it's not quite straight. So yeah. Um, then the height. I think, I think about. I think they go to about sixteen centimeters. I think fifteen actually rather. Yeah, so that's about three and a half centimeters. Okay, so I think it was like 18, well, 18 and a half before. Yeah, I think it was. Hmm, so, yeah, it lose a lot, quite a lot from the, from the uh, flourishes. You can see actually on the inside, can't you, as well, how far they go. Um, yes, yeah, so let's uh, measure the height as well. Let's see. About 10, about a centimetre, 10 millimetres. And then between the segments, Six millimeters. Okay. Yes, there you go. So it's a uh, yeah, an eight by three bar. Obviously, six pieces a quarter. Yeah. So you can see sort of nice sort of fudge pieces coming through there. Let's say yeah. Interesting one. So what's the three things in this one then? So, banoffee pies by fudge pieces, gold almond caramel pieces. Okay, so it's got caramel pieces. So two of them have had caramel pieces and biscuit pieces in as well, actually. Um. So basically the only difference between the banoffee nut crumble and the uh, no frowny brownie um, is actually the sort of the fudge pieces that are sort of banana flavoured um, and the brownie pieces. So two of them are very similar, so two thirds of them are the same. So a bit disappointing. Let's give it a bit of a... So the cherry one, do you know what's different? So you can see there, nice fudge piece there. Um, yeah. You can see like a possible caramel piece there. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Biscuit piece on that one. 
kind of focused in, change the colour of it as well. <laughs> so I see some biscuit pieces in there. Yeah, not too prevalent in that particular part, but there we go. Yeah, and if we just cut down the centre, so I don't think they'll extend into the top of the segments. Yeah, so it tends to just be at the bottom, really. You can see that, so yeah. Hmm. Maybe slightly in the top on that one on the left as you look. So it's slightly going up there. Oop, the chocolate melt in my hands. Slightly up into the top there, but not too much. All right, let's see if we can taste them. I say, no real banana smell coming from, which I would expect. So um, I'm a bit dubious about these ones, but let's uh, give them a taste. <laughs> see what it's like. Let's do it. Okay, I'm just going to say Cabby Dairy Milk Inventor Bar Special Edition Banoffee Nut Crumble a taste. Yeah, so a bit dubious about it so far. It doesn't really smell banana-y. Um, very similar to the uh, No Frowny Brownie one. The only difference being one of the three ingredients is different. Um, so yeah, so the range is not quite as exciting as I'd hoped. But obviously, Banoffee fudge pieces sounds and brownie pieces sound quite distinct. So we'll see if it makes all the difference. So let's uh, give it a taste. Let's do it. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Mm. There's definitely a banana taste there. Hmm. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. This is banoffee nut crumble as well. I've just realised this is actually golden almond camel pieces. Okay. Hmm. So I was a bit dubious about this one, having nuts in it, and a bit um, worried about that might just you know ruin it really. But there's not. Um, so it doesn't seem to be. It seems to be mainly. Um, in fact, I was mentioning it was quite similar to the other one, and I think the fact that it's got almond nut pieces in, I think there is a difference actually, I think I was wrong there. Um, yeah, do apologise, i have to backtrack on that. Um, no frowny brownie one did have salted caramel uh, chips uh, in it, sorry, not, um, maybe it's because it's called golden nut piece, so I was wrong there, so actually there isn't a shared piece there. Um, yeah, there's only one of the thing, it's the biscuit pieces, but yeah, it seemed, it sounded similar, but I thought it was like caramel pieces, but it's not quite... Um, the same kind of camel, it's a golden almond camel apparently. So there's a slight difference there, but to be honest with you, I can't taste any almonds in it, so I don't know whether, you know, <laughs> I'm assuming they are almond pieces, but it seems a bit odd to have that differentiation on the selector from Cadbury, but um, presumably they did. Um, hmm. Nice chew from the fudge pieces. Hmm. It's okay. So I'm getting a bit of a salty taste from the camel there, so it makes me wonder if it is any different, if it's if it is really almond-like or not. I'm not sure. I mean, what's it say? What's it say on the back? It says well, it does have a it does say it's crunchy almond pieces. So milk chocolate banana flavor camel pieces, seven percent crunchy almond camel pieces, four percent and biscuit pieces, two percent. So yeah, so the other one, I know frowny brownie one. Um, yeah, they weren't referred to as. Yeah. There. Yeah, milk chocolate with brownie pieces, salted caramel pieces, 4%. Yeah, so it is a different there. So, okay, so maybe I was being a bit um, a bit harsh there. Hmm. All right, so it's not bad actually. I think you can taste the uh, banana quite prominently, which wasn't the case in the cherry one. Hmm. Yeah, it's a dominant taste for sure. Um, Hmm. It certainly doesn't need the almond taste at all, so, um, you know, it'd be a shame actually if you can taste the almond taste, and I'm hoping uh, it doesn't become apparent. Um, hmm. Because the banana's enough, really. Uh, hmm. And you want to be able to taste it, you know what I mean? You don't want any, you want it muddy in the waters, basically. Um, hmm. Yeah. So you can, probably not as much as I'd like, I'd like to taste it more. The fudge pieces had a bit of a nice sort of chew to it, um, hmm, in places. The biscuit pieces and the probably almond crunchy bits are perhaps a bit too, um, hmm, more prevalent than I'd like them to be. Um, crunchy almond camel pieces, yeah. I guess it's meant to be banoffee. It's got fudge and, and toffee, sort of well, fudge and caramel pieces in there. I feel like it'd just be nice, and this is what I wanted with so I'm a bit biased on it, but I just would wish it was just more banana taste rather than being muddled with this sort of you know, semi fudgy, caramelly taste. Um, hmm. I can understand though why Josh did it, because um, he wanted banoffee pie. 
Um, hmm. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. It's it's not bad. Um, the fact that the banana is is pretty prominent and quite you know you can taste the banana flavor is good. Um, hmm. I perhaps would like it to be just a bit more a bit stronger. Really, I don't know. Um, I feel like the sort of the camel pieces don't really taste almondy at all. They taste more like they're just the salted camel piece than you want. And to be honest with you, and then if I, you know, I, the taste wise they're almost exactly the same. So even to the fact that it tastes a bit salty at times. Um, yeah, so I think they do detract from it in a bit. Even though that's the idea, but in my my point of view, they detract from it because as I say, adding that toffee taste, it just a slight sort of a caramel taste. It just sort of it's not toffee, it's caramel. Um, Mm. It just tastes away from the banana taste of it, really, and the freshness of it, and it's, and then the the crunchy pieces are nice. Um, but it's just the fact that it's really like sort of having that candied caramel type taste. Well, like sort of, you know, it's a bit like um, I'll say again from Matchmakers, that sort of crunchy cam, crunchy candy taste. Um, you get in Matchmakers, you know, it's a bit like that more than anything. Um, so it's like flavour of caramel, of course. But yeah, so I don't know. It's not. It's okay. Um, I think I might prefer. The cherry one the most, I think, even though it doesn't really taste of cherry, it's just the textures are slightly different and it's just more interesting, it has a bit of a fruity flavour to it, it's a bit fresh. It's not really very fresh in the banana one. Um, hmm. Um, it doesn't seem to stand out as much, so I think the caramel just... Hmm. The fudge is there for a bit of a chew every now and again, but it's not very prominent at all, or pre uh, prevalent even. Um, hmm. You can even see on the bottom that the... The fudge is um, cu like cubes. Um, you, just see, you saw me put one out to you before, and you can see there's just no cubes standing out at all. It's all the biscuit piece at the bottom, and all the caramel pieces. You know, there's no real cubes there of um, fudge. See, it's sliding on my fingers there, it's a bit melty. Uh, yeah, mm. So, the fudge is not very prominent at all. Um, it really isn't, you know. So it's very rare to get a piece. I'm just snapping this into bits. I'm just not really seeing any at all. Um, yeah. So really difficult, you know, very... And then obviously here's with the last year's products as well, where the, the distribution was really poor, actually. And it's continued on. They obviously don't put um, much of the fudge into it. So, yeah, you know, disappointing. I mean, because it's bigger pieces, I guess. Um, I like the banana side of it. I do like that, and I really wish it was more prominent. It's just not prominent enough. I find the, the fruitiness of the cherry one, the fizzing cherry, whatever it's called, just a bit more, even though it's not done taste anything like cherry at all, really. Um, there's some kind of weird chilli go taste going on to it as well, which makes no sense, really, other than as far as what the bar was intended to be, by the sounds of it, was concerned. Um, although, officially, what they've said on the bar and on the website, I think, I don't know, I think they've kind of tried to sideline the chilli side of it for whatever reason, possibly because it doesn't really taste much of it unless you really go out for it, I don't know, it's a strange one, that. bizarre, something odd going on there, um, yeah, so, hmm, um, it's okay, it's alright this one, as I say, it, should, it was one I'm most excited about, and one I knew I'd be disappointed with, and the fact that, you know, that disappointment, it might be me being more harsh, and me, resulting in me being more harsh than I otherwise would have been, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't think so, I mean, I don't found myself there, it's just the fact that the camera and the toffee are too prominent, and they detract from the from the from the banana really rather than compliment it you know what I mean I think in in banoffee and whatever pies and things I think they they do they, you know they really complement each other but in this one they don't um and it's just too and even though it says it's almond caramel pieces or whatever but they taste too similar to the ones in the in the um, no frowny brownie one um to the point where it's almost the same really and there's hardly any fudge pieces either um. You know, which was the one bit that added a bit of different texture to it, even though the fudge didn't really taste much of anything, but the texture was there. So it's very disappointing, I think. Um, yeah. I, I do like that banana taste, but as I say, it's just the fact that it's... It's just heavily affected, you know, it's affected, maybe not heavily, but it's affected enough um, to, to sideline it to an extent, really, by the fact that, that as I say, there's that sort of caramelly taste in there. Not really almond either, just caramel. Um, which is another thing about them as well as it was the case with the fizzing cherry one, cherry, cherry fizzing cherry I think it was called. Um, yeah, the fact that they would have that it was it was chili pepper flavoured or chili pepper cherry gummy pieces or whatever, you know, but they said that the chili pepper wasn't really advertised. But this one, they've, they've got almond caramel pieces, but you can't really taste the almond part of it. It's just, they just seem to not quite, the flavours and the ingredients don't seem to quite 
be right you know what i mean it's it's very odd and um yeah yeah so i don't know um yeah i think for this one this it's probably another three and a half out of five i think i think it's uh it's okay um i like the fact there's banana in there but it just i don't know it's just not prominent enough unfortunately but it's nice um but it's just, yeah, I don't know. I couldn't say why there's caramel and fudge in there, because obviously to make it banoffee pie, it makes perfect sense. But unfortunately, I just I just don't think it's worked in this way, because, let's say, the, the, the banana is just not strong enough for flavour. Was it, was it, was it banana? Banana flavour caramel pieces, yeah. Mm. Crunchy almond caramel pieces. Yeah, so it could do with just, having, just not having the crunchy almond caramel pieces, because you've got the banana flavour caramel pieces, um, I think just having those crunchy almond caramel pieces as well, um, it's just they just it's just working against it. You've already got banoffee basically and the banana caramel pieces. You don't need uh, those almond pieces either. You know they've just they've totally detracted from it. You know, I think that well you know that's why I can only assume anyway. The fudge is not bad actually. It gives you that different texture. So it's very rare that you find a fudge piece as I say, which is another problem. It's not really distributed very well. Um, you know, when I, when, you, when I flipped upside down before, you could see all the different pieces of other things in there. And you only saw one square of fudge, you know, so. <laughs> um, and there are square bits as well, you know, when you go to the Inventor Bar things from last year as well. So they're quite distinct. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I think just, just, I don't know. I don't think it's Josh's fault or anything. I think he's just good. For, yeah, you have to make three flavours and he's trying to make ones that complement each other. But unfortunately, it's just not worked. So there we go. But it's still nice. Um, but it's just the banana flavour. As it's just too much caramel flavour, not enough banana flavour. Um is the gist of it, which is disappointing. Yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that review. If I'm on Instagram, check out the YouTube member program. It's a great way to support the channel, it really is. Uh, check out the Discord server as well, links in the description for that and the member program. Leave a comment or free, always great to hear from you. And uh, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye for now. See ya. Bye. <laughs>